Well, I met Gobi in the Gobi Desert in China. She was a stray dog that came out of nowhere and started running with me as I was running a 250 kilometre race across the desert there. She would actually run four stages and 125 kilometres of the race, which is pretty incredible considering the size of her and these tiny little legs in such tough conditions in the desert. On day two of the race, Gobi would be at the start line and she would take her shining to me. I would uh, start to run off and Gobi would follow me throughout the stage. We would run 25 miles together and she really liked me from the beginning but I wasn't so sure about her. On, on day three of the race, I would have to cross a large river crossing and as I entered the water, Gobi was barking and whining and yelping behind me because she couldn't cross the river on her own. So I had to make a decision then to run back and to pick her up and that was the moment when I picked her up that I knew that uh, she meant more than me than just being a dog at the race. So when I first saw Gobi running in the desert with Dion and was just started already daydreaming about how great it would be to have her as part of our family, didn't realise it was going to be such an ordeal and big dilemma to bring her home. So there was a lot of work and a lot of stress involved to bring this little girl home to us. Yeah, I made Gobi a promise during the race that I was going to take her back to the UK where I was living. I wanted to give her a better life. I didn't want her to leave her out there in the desert. But unfortunately, before I could bring her home, she went missing in China. So I had to fly all the way back to China to search for her. Gobi, how did you get missing in China? <laughs> Only Gobi really knows the answers. So I flew all the way back out to Urumqi, a city of three million people, set up a search and volunteer team, and we searched day and night for her. One day someone rang to say they think we've found your dog and uh, it happened to be Gobi. She has made our family complete. I couldn't be happier to have her and call her my little daughter as well. So she's so sweet. So she's not really a diva, but she is very stubborn. I think she takes after Dion. If she doesn't want to do something, she just plants her feet down and she'll sit down and she's like, I'm not doing that. But it's a great show of her character, I think. Very cute. Well, I think one of the big things from my story is it was kind of one kind act of me picking up Gobi changed both my life and her life forever. And I think if we can give nice kindness, be better to people, to better to animals, then that's a great story to be telling everyone. I had lots of publishers saying, this is an amazing story, you should tell the world about it. So it was a great opportunity to share it in the book. And the book's now available in 18 languages around the world. And we're so excited to have it in Croatian language as well. And we're thrilled to be out here to share it. Mi smo znali za tu prekrasnu priču, gospodina Leonarda i Kujice Gobi. Mislim da ta jedna prekrasna priča o kojoj mi govorimo svakodnevno, znači i potreba za udomljavanjem i odgovornim držanjem kućnih ljubimaca i tako divni ljudi kao što su gospodin Leonardo i njegova supruga su upravo idealni da nastavimo promicati koliko je potrebno udomljavati pse, koliko je bitno odgovornih držati, a još ova jedna sportska priča koju jer ljudi koji vole trčati i biti fizički aktivni, oni su upravo vrlo često imaoci pasa. I think the best thing about today is really just raising awareness and money for another animal shelter, this great animal shelter in Zagreb. And that's the great thing about sharing our story is we've been able to use that to make sure another dog finds their forever home as well. She would like to run it as a race because she's very competitive. So she'd love to win the race, but Dion always tells her that we can't win our own race, so she has to take it easy and let some of the other dogs win. S obzirom da smo ljetos pribavili ovu knjigu i pročitali ju, kćer i ja, i jako volimo pse, a inače smo sportskog duha, pa sam mislila iskoristiti idealnu priliku da malo i upoznamo gospodina Leonarda i njenu Gobi i da malo potrčimo s njima, pogotovo i planiramo pribaviti psa iz Dumovca, sad evo za zimske ferije možda. Kod nas možete udomiti i sportaša i avanturistu, ali i onog vjernog psa koji nije za velike fizičke napore, nego samo želi biti vaš i biti voljen. So the main thing about today and the whole story about Gobi is yeah, adopt, don't shop. Go out there and see what little dog or cat you can help.